What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you on a couple different things that the PIF is doing to really integrate Lucid into its bigger picture, into its 2030 plan. So I want to go over that, also touch on some latest analyst ratings as well and what that does mean for Lucid, at least in the short term. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So this was posted on Twitter by Sultan, and it does say Lucid is now approved in Saudi Arabia to be connected to the company and full controlled by the owner. And he does say that it's not necessarily sure what it means. So I did open up their website, converted it or translated it to English so I can actually understand it. But basically it does look like Lucid among others is a part of their 2030 vision. And of course, I think we already generally knew that for a very long time now, but it does seem like it is very much formally being done and interestingly enough it does call lucid lucid company limited so i don't know if that's just maybe a, something else i'm not really sure but of course it says for the lucid brand has gm chev uh, also gmc cadillac various other ones as well it is to note and very interesting that tesla is not on here same with Sear. So I found that interesting. Of course, Sear is their other uh, EV company that they did really develop. So it's not really listed here. So potentially Lucid might be the only contender in that area for EVs. Of course, GM is really launching some EVs in 2025. Same with Cadillac and various other ones. But Lucid has better technology. And especially if they do continue to innovate from now until 2025, they'll continue to have that advantage as well and one thing that i don't actually understand about this is why lucid does have a one around it see that box that has that and yet it has gmc chev gm around a two uh, BMW around a three Rolls Royce so I'm not really sure about that if you guys know what the breakdown of this does mean let me know in the comments below be very interested in seeing that and over and above that though there was this so this was actually just recently announced so the Saudi Arabia to invest 1 trillion uh, obviously in their own currency in clean energy and that is massive and I think in general this actually does match why potentially the PIF would want to buy out Lucid because based on even their Q3 earnings, which of course that's the most credible information that we do have, Lucid is at a substantial discount well below its intrinsic value. So typically companies get bought out when they are and that discount is around, especially considering a lot of people seem to very much forget even what happened last week, let alone what was announced as you can see right here, uh, July 2021. ESS. Last time they actually did bring up ESS was during the Q1 in 2022 earnings. And I think they only brought it up because retail did have it as one of the top three questions to vote on. So again, I think they were forced to answer it. But definitely ESS is one attribute of Lucid that people seem to just write off because it does say that Lucid potentially could develop and earn $22.8 billion dollars by 2030 and just put that into perspective and just let that sink in 22.8 billion and keep in mind right now the market cap is only 21 billion for lucid right now so this is why hypothetically if you are investing in the long term this should factor that in as well so even more of a reason why potentially the pif would want to buy out lucid because of all the huge amount of expansions that they are doing right now and like i said also about this it's part of their 2030 vision so it kind of makes sense in general so like i said not here to say that's still technically a rumor just there is arguments for both sides as well but this is a very interesting thing that saudi arabia and the pif are really wanting to integrate lucid moving on from all of that other fun jazz as you can see analyst ratings. so we do have a couple of analyst ratings that did come down the pipeline so morgan stanley citigroup oddly enough it doesn't necessarily where i have interactive brokers here it doesn't actually have this one by bank of america bank of america did give a buy rating 18 dollar price target and as you can see they previously had 21 so they did cut it a little bit morgan stanley is five dollars a lot of articles are even coming out referring to this and technically even if you just google right now uh lucid stock 
that is one of the things that does come up actually right here, I believe. Four reasons to sell Lucid stock according to Morgan Stanley. So Morgan Stanley clearly is making a very big impression on the market right now because of their $5 target. But outside of that though, Citigroup did give a $12 target. So I think at the end of the day, a lot of institutions are being very cautious about giving high price targets um, because of there's still a possibility of a very impending recession that could come, especially as well, just to piggyback it, and it's not really related to anything, but as you can see right here, uh, Morgan or Michael Burry did just say sell, and just as plain and simple as that. So I think right now, some people are still starting to think, is this just a big rug pull that's been happening, just a little bit more of a value rally aspect as well, because even more so looking on Lucid's technicals, it was very, very oversold on in December. So of course, people took advantage of the whole scenario, not necessarily just with Lucid, but the broader market, and it went up very, very fast. So as you can even see on Stochastic, it went from very much oversold to very much overbought. So who knows what is going to happen? Let's see if Morgan Stanley, aka Adam Jonas, is right about this target, because it was roughly about $30 and he gave a, I believe it was 16 or a $12 price target. I think it was 16 initially, lowered it down to 12 out of nowhere. And turns out, I guess he was right. So I don't know if he foresaw something that maybe nobody else did, but again, it is what it is. Who knows if it'll go down to five. Of course, I've already done a video. If it does get down to five, that is a very, very scary time. But regardless of all of that fun jazz, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. If you do like my Lucid content and want to support the channel, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. With that said, appreciate you guys watching. Let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.